What's up YouTube? Welcome to Jang's. I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu. Yes, Chu's here today. Okay, so welcome. If you're new to the channel, we teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food at home as well as Malaysian and Chinese traditional street food. Today, we are bringing you another thing from our series called The Best. Normally, we teach you how to do like the bog standard Chinese takeaway stuff that you would find. Now, this sort of mini series called The Best. Ah, ain't nothing ever gonna get you down. You're welcome for that, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Yeah, so. This is the best way of doing fried rice. Now this is just egg fried rice. I know people are going, where's the chicken, where's the peas? This is literally the side dish. It's not the main dish. It's a side dish that you order as a complement to something else, not as a main, okay? Okay. Like chips, for example, okay? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Listen, just egg fried rice. Yes. Do I? Say egg was fried it egg rice. Or do you say fried rice? No, it's egg fried rice because if I say fried rice, people would think it's just going to be. But anyway, it's the side dish. Yeah, we'll just get... watch it then, okay? <laughs> yeah, just well, you've been told. <laughs> so um, yeah, we'll get on with that. Egg fried rice because I... did I say that though? You I'll said just... fried rice. Oh yeah, okay. okay. Well, it doesn't matter. So we're going to get on with it now. Yeah. Right. So we've got. This is going to make about two portions of the fried rice. About 600 grams of the overnight rice. And to that, we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of MSG, two teaspoons of Ligongi light soy sauce, and one teaspoon of Ligongi dark soy sauce to that. And we're going to combine that all together. Then we've got three scallions or spring onions, as we call them, cut up into finely slices. We're going to use most of that to cook with but also a few as garnish on top. Got an egg here. We're gonna crack that, beat that, add some salt, a pinch of salt to it, not too much. And what that does is actually makes it more liquid. When you put the salt into the beaten egg, it makes it less gooey and more easy to pour. And that's really perfect to get the ribbons. We've got a quarter teaspoon of salt, finely chopped garlic clove, one and a half tablespoons of vegetable oil, one heap teaspoon of this chicken powder. Really good places will use this in their fried rice. I mean, chances of you ever having it with that in there before, next to zero. I know everyone will go, oh, my place definitely does that. No, they, they don't. Very few places will do this. Even in London, probably one in 30 or 40 would actually use this in an egg fried rice. Yeah, so this is just the side dish and then we'll show you how to bring this all together. Right, so you're gonna have to add this seasoned oil. I said vegetable oil earlier, but it's actually seasoned oil. What, just waiting for the oil to heat up? Yeah. When it's hot, we're gonna throw the spring onions in straight away, but cook them very quickly. You don't want them in there too long. Okay, so in go the onions. Remember, keeping some for garnish. Literally, like that. A couple of seconds. Then in goes your egg. You want to make an omelette, let it sit for a little bit before you stir. When it starts bubbling, that's when you start turning. Give it into pieces. Yeah. Can you see it? Make a piece of egg. No, you put your garlic in. Garlic goes in too early, it burns. The last thing you want is burnt garlic, trust me. You want to turn the temperature down and a little. Again, this is just to stop the garlic from burning. You want a lovely, mild, aromatic flavour of garlic going through this, not a strong one. High heat is going to burn it. Classic mistake people make. And it's so easily avoidable. Okay, now when you can start smelling the garlic, it means it's done. If you can see brown on the garlic, you want to put your, um, your rice in straight away because that means it's going to catch and go over and become bitter. So in goes your rice. We're going to pound it down like this. Flick it and keep pounding it down. What this does, it removes the clumps. So that noise you hear, in the takeaway, is them hitting down the rice, and that kachung is them flicking it. You want to get some heat into this before we even start thinking about adding the stock and the sugar. A lot of you will be screaming, why is there no extra MSG going into this? Well, because this contains a lot of MSG, so you don't need to add much um, to begin with. 
right, the rice is getting soft now. Just getting not. Key is, a lot of people continuously move it. You don't want to continuously move it. You want to let it sit for a bit and let that catch and that will give you that sort of wokey flavour if you're looking for it, if you don't have a gas cooker. It's all about knowing your equipment. Just keep watching the video. Just keep watching our video. Yeah. To get into, is that perfection? Yeah, to make it perfect. To make it, uh, see, look yeah, at that you there. see that? Catching now. Catch, yeah, lovely. Yeah. And then every time you flip, you tamp down, you tamp it down, you tamp it down. Okay, so it's very near being done because it's going, it's like coming together a little bit like Play-Doh. Yeah, I always say it look like, uh, I wouldn't say that word now, like the malasa sugar. No, that's what I say. You're stealing my, <laughs> my words there, Mark. Mine is ma maggots. Maggots, yeah. <laughs> In goes your sugar now. Again, you don't want that in too early because it can burn. I want to put, Heap teaspoon of this stock into the uh, rice. Everyone like a bit of the fry rice. So this is very nearly ready. It's yeah. only going to be about another 20 30 seconds. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. You can garnish this with some sesame oil if you want. I don't think it goes, but by all means, if it's what you like, please do. You never cook with sesame oil, it's a garnish, it's not an oil to cook with. Remember, we sell these ingredients on our web store chillandchew.com along with our cookbook. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification for weekly Chinese takeaway and Chinese cooking videos. And that's it. Ready Just to serve. do it, you're a superstar. The fried rice, I should have showed you on camera first actually. There you can go. Can you see it? Can you, hopefully you can see that. Right, I'd like to start off by apologizing halfway through this video, the camera's I can't see through the viewfinder anymore, so I don't know if the footage is any good. If it is, you'll be watching this. If it's not, I apologise, but we're going to get on with trying this. Ready? Yeah. Mm. It's just way more depth of flavour, isn't there? Yeah. It's far more satisfying as it is. If you don't have the chicken powder, you can use um, Aromat, which is perfect if you're a vegan or vegetarian, because I think it's definitely vegetarian. I'm not sure about vegan. It's beautiful. It's definitely way like more punchy, isn't it? Mm. Than your standard fried rice. So give this a go. Remember, this isn't the best like chicken fried rice or whatever. We'll be doing another video on that. This is just the best version of a side dish. It will literally lift up your other dishes to a. So if you cook kung pao with this, it would add another dimension. Really enjoy it. Mm. It's a better flavour. Yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Mum? Happy cooking, happy eating. Sorry, I'll do it again. Happy cooking, happy eating. There we go. Cheers, guys.